this is Eng Trinket speaking with the voice changer filter on. And I just wanted to be the first to say I really thank you for clicking on this video and showing some love for the voice change that me and Ferrace made. It means a lot to us that you're even here, so thank you so much. Anyways, I'm just going to do myself a favor and turn the voice off now. Ah, there we go. Anyways, hi, this is how I actually sound. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, welcome to the tutorial, and I'm not going to waste your time here, so we're just going to get straight into it. Just keep in mind that this tutorial is meant for experienced users, so if you get stuck in anywhere, feel free to leave a comment or even reach out to me and I'll do my best to help. So the first thing that you're going to want to have to do is go into the description of this video and then click the FL Studio 20 link. So you want to go to, go to try for free and then go ahead and install the Windows version. This will take 10 million years to uh, download, so just bear with it here. Alright, so there we go. So now it's downloaded, so you're just going to want to go into the folder where the installer downloaded and then run the executable. Now make sure when you install FL Studio 20, when you go through here, you know, go through this like you normally would, choose your install locations, whatever. Make sure when you install FL Studio, make sure that this is checked. I'm not going to install it myself since I don't want to ruin my setup, but normally, you know, you keep on hitting next and let it install. Standard stuff. So the next thing we're going to want to have to do is we're going to want to go to the second link in the description of the video and then we're going to want to go to the VB Audio Software website. If any of you are familiar with voice changes, you'll probably know that if you want someone to hear your voice, you, unless if it's integrated, you have to switch your microphone to like a specific microphone in order for them to hear you. Well, that's essentially what VB Cable is. It's a virtual audio device that'll allow you to broadcast your voice to other people. So once you've made it to this website, go ahead and just download the Windows installation. Once you've downloaded the zip file, go ahead and head to your desktop real quick. Make a new folder. I'll just name it, um, Spaghetti. Because I don't care about what I name it. And what you just want to, go, want to go ahead and do is just take all this content and then just drag it right into that folder. Then you're going to want to go to vbcablesetup64.exe, right click it, and then hit run as administrator. And then, do you want to make this? Do, 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 do. You want to hit yes. And since, see right here, it says to remove the driver. That only shows up because I already have it installed. But normally you would just hit install driver and it would ask if you can trust this developer and you say yes. Once you download this, I would highly recommend you restart your computer. Virtual audio drivers are a little bit weird, so there's a good chance if you don't restart your computer, you you might run into some weirdness. So I would just highly recommend restarting. I mean, it, I think it does ask for you to restart it when you download it anyway, so this shouldn't be a problem. So then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open FL Studio 20. Now when you first open FL Studio 20, it's probably not gonna look like mine. In fact, it's probably going to load a default song that opens every time you download FL Studio for the first time. So when that shows up, go to the top left here, go to file, hit new basic 808 with limiter, just hit that. So once you have FL Studio open, we're gonna go ahead and go into the third and final link in the description of the video, which is gonna lead you to a Google Drive link, which has these two files you're gonna need. There is the Half-Life 2 underscore Combine FLP, which stands for Free Loop Project File. And then there's GForm3 right here, which is a Pitch Informant modifier, which is going to be necessary if we want to have the voice changer have adjusted pitch. So make sure you download both of these things. Then once you've done that, we can move on to the next step. So the first thing we're going to want to have to do is we're going to want to make it so FL Studio can pick up a microphone and output it to our virtual audio device. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Options, Audio Settings, and then this big button here with the term that says show ACO panel, just go ahead and click that. So basically what we're gonna wanna do is for input right here, you wanna make sure this is set to your microphone. And for output right here, you're gonna wanna make sure that this is set to cable input. So just make sure it's set to cable input. Then once that's done, you can go ahead and just close both these tabs. Then what we're gonna wanna have to do is we're gonna have to activate that G form plugin. To do that, we're gonna wanna go to options again, then manage plugins. And right here we have all these directories for FL Studio. We have C program files for the effects generators, and you might not see some of these because I may have tampered with these a little bit, I'm not quite sure, but what you're gonna wanna do is essentially, you're gonna wanna go to one of these directories and you're gonna wanna put that GForm file in pretty much any of these. For example, in my case, all my VST plugins are in program files 86. Scroll down a little bit and then you see VST plugins. And then there it is right there. So you just want to you just want to make sure GForm is in any of these directories. Doesn't matter where. It's as long as it's in there, and FL Studio can read it. But you want to make sure Verify Plugins is off, just because this will be much quicker. Then hit Find More Plugins, and then you want to go ahead and search GForm or just GF for girlfriend. And then right here, GForm. You want to make sure this star for GForm is checked off. 
and then that'll mean that GeForce is activated. Then once that's done, you can go ahead and close Manage Plugins. You're going to want to go ahead and find that Half-Life 2 Combine FLP file, and then just double click it, and then boom. There you go. Now if it, everything is working properly, you should see some bars moving around as you're talking. You know how I said earlier that voice mod uses a system where you set your voice to a different device instead of your normal microphone so they can hear your changed voice? Well, that's essentially what we're going to do here. If we go onto our sound control panel real quick, we see that in recording we now have a thing called cable output. So basically, cable output is going to act as your voice changer microphone. So, for example, if I was in Discord and I wanted to turn on the voice changer to show my friends, instead of using my normal microphone, which is my blue snowball, I'd instead use cable output. And that should pretty much be it. Again, I just want to say thank you so much for clicking on this video and showing some love for the voice changer that we made, and have a nice day. Goodbye.